advanced keystroke injection attacks using key codes, this time on Hack5. Hello, welcome to Hack5. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of Technolust, and I'm so excited because today we are building an even better cross-platform workstation locker outer of doom. And this one's gonna be fun because it won't actually let you log back in. And we're going to be taking advantage of some really advanced keystroke injection stuff using key codes. Lots of creativity to be had there. If you don't recall, a couple of weeks ago, we built out a payload that essentially spams the Windows, Mac, and Linux keyboard combos to lock you out of your workstation over and over, leveraging the power of the Bash Bunny, both on the Bash side using like a simple while loop, as well as the USB rubber ducky side using the quack command to do keystroke injection. And if we take a look at this simple, simple payload over here, it's just basically this one liner, this while true that does you know, GUI L or Windows key L for Windows and Control L for Mac and Command Control Q, uh, oh, sorry, on Mac and then this guy's on Linux. And it just loops through those over and over. And, you know, that was pretty cool. And today I would like to expand on it because I am inspired by a comment uh, from our YouTuber friend, Jake underscore Egg MC or EGGMC, who said, hey, how about, you know, typing something into the password field, uh, making it even harder for the user to log in, stating that, hey, that's actually cross-platform. Brilliant. I love it. So, you know, let's take it a step further, actually, because, yes, just injecting any keystroke is cross-platform. So how about the backspace key? You would think, okay, cool. If we spam that, basically we're going to get the benefit of making it even harder to for the user to log back in. So let's just do a quickie proof of concept and then we'll make it even better. So here in our payload, essentially all I wanna do is add, after the GUI L, I'll do quack backspace. And then after the control L, I'll also do quack backspace. And then after the command control Q for Mac, I'll do quack backspace. And that's it. So let's go ahead and save that guy, safely eject it as always, and test out this payload. Switch position two back into our, I'm gonna lovingly call this our bunny box, our, our poor little Windows box of ownage. And so cute, just so cute. All right, you see we logged out, and if I start typing, oh, as I'm typing, I'm being backspaced. Although if I just sit here for a moment, you'd notice, you know, there's those half second delays between the backspace, which we can shorten, it's not that big of a deal. But if you type fast enough, you're gonna be able to actually log into this box. And what fun is that? But it warrants getting into some additional creativity. And here's, here's what I'd love to do. Rather than uh, just injecting that keystroke or just backspace, let's select everything and then hit backspace. So all in one fell swoop. And that is just a matter of holding down shift and hitting home to select everything and then quacking backspace as we're currently doing in the payload. And then it will be nearly impossible, which is really fun, right? Uh, so here's the thing about it before I go ahead and prove the concept and show you why it's gonna fail. Uh, essentially, there is no uh, shift home keyboard combo thing in uh, USB rubber ducky or ducky script or the bash bunnies, you know, hit injection stuff. It's because not every possible keyboard combo under the sun has been written into the thing because there's, it would just be just so many, um, but they are all possible even still. So let's learn about kind of a unique feature to the Bash Bunny. And I'm gonna go ahead here and, and log back into this box as I've got the Bash Bunny now in, in arming mode. And if you head into this languages directory, you'll notice you've got a JSON file here for every language. These are all the key mappings. So for instance, if we open up this uh, US one, you can actually see here's control, you can also write it as uh, control or CTRL, same thing. You've got shift and alt and GUI or Windows. Windows and GUI are the same thing. If you're on uh, a Linux box, you'll probably call that the super key. Works for me. Uh, and you'll notice that you have basically all of the possible keyboard shortcuts and combinations. Here's alt tab, for instance. And let's go ahead and take advantage of this. And, and here's the thing, if you're not already familiar with this on a Bash Bunny, if you go into your actual payload here, switch position two, you can specify these 
uh, quite simply by doing ducky underscore lang and then the two letter uh, code for the uh, country so us for usa or de for germany right we don't have to because it already defaults to us here in the in america but if we take a look at this this file here we'll see that there's there's a lot to it right so as an example right here here we have a so the a key on the keyboard the this will send a lowercase a and we'll notice that for each of these you have three values essentially these are the three bytes the three hex codes that make up the keyboard uh, scan code if you will and this first one the the, the first one set uh, before the comma is a modifier right so sure we've got a but we also have capital a well what's the difference right so we've got our modifier We've got the second one, which is reserved, so you'll never really see it used for the most part. And then the third one, which is the actual letter. So both of these are 04 for the letter, which is A, but the second one is 02, right? And the reason for that is quite simple. There is no capital A key on the keyboard, even though it's shown in capitals. I know, right? So essentially, if you want a capital A, you hold down shift in A. So that's what that modifier, 02 is the modifier that says hold down shift and 04 is the keystroke that is the letter A. So using this, we can put it all together as you might imagine, if we just scroll down in this file, we'll find eventually home. So let's see, enter, escape, backspace, okay, caps lock, cruise control for cool, break, ah, home. So here's home, it's 0000, for a so here's the thing if we wanted to you know we following this exact same logic we could just make a shift home shift dash home you know it'd pretty it up so it yeah and then we'd make this zero two for shift right or and and this is kind of important here because i want to close this and not save it um well, that would be great for us and our bash bunny. We want our payloads to be fruitful for everyone. And so we're going to go ahead and use a quack command called key code that it's going to allow us to send just those key codes. So let's take a look at our payload again and uh, kind of pretty it up some. So here we go in our while loop. And, and you know, I think, I, I think I'm gonna kind of pretty this up just a bit while I'm here. So the last bit for us is gonna to be to do quack key code, and in this case, 02 comma 00 comma 4A. So we'll put that before all of the backspaces. We're gonna go ahead and save that payload, and uh, we'll pretty up all of that stuff before we publish it, and safely eject as always. And let's go ahead and give this a test on our little victim bunny box. And just as before, it locks us out. But as we type, look at that. It just selects everything. Ah, I can't, I really can't get it fast enough. Yeah, this one is definitely a winner and it's cross-platform, Windows, Mac, and Linux, Shift Home works. And in before the comment, yes, I know we could have used Control A, but then we wouldn't have gotten into key code. So there you go. Uh, now, in just a moment, we're going to get into our Hack 5 Gear giveaway for this week. But first, a word from our sponsor. Domain.com has all of your website needs, from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack 5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now, once again, mad props to Jake Egg MC. We're gonna get a hold of you to send you a $100 Hack5 gift certificate to get yourself a Bash Bunny or a Wi-Fi Pineapple or any of the other awesome Hack5 gear. And I would like this week to hear some comments on creative ways that we could use key codes in a payload. So I'm going to link to a PDF from the USB implementers forum in the description because there are some pretty cool, uncommon key codes that we might be able to leverage. And I wanna hear what you would do with those. Even better if you leave DuckyScript totally works for me. Uh, so leave a comment below for your chance to win this week's Hack 5 gear giveaway. $100 gift certificates, hey, why not? Uh, and you'll find all the details in the description below. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your technolust.